literal fascist. Oh no, more than a fascist. That's beyond fascism. That's death camp territory. That right there is full on social degeneracy theory. The idea that the existence of the degenerate is like a natural social contagion. That's, that goes, that's beyond fascism. I don't like um, sincerity posting too much in the way that I'm about to, mostly because I think one of the best tools that we have against the far right is to react to bigotry with a kind of weariness and familiarity, you know? Like when I genuinely think very little is gained from our perspective, if somebody is racist or transphobic and you react by being like really performatively offended because usually your offense is what they're looking for. So I don't like to look at something bigoted and go like, wow, this is really bad because like, you know, it's bad and they knew it was bad. That's why they, that's why they did it. You know, and like, I, I, I don't think we gain much. We're giving them the attention they want. You know, I don't, I don't think it's to our benefit. That being said, in that interview Elon Musk had with Jordan Peterson, uh, he went a little bit silly with it. You may or may not know, but Elon Musk has a bunch of kids and one of them is trans and that trans kid of his went to court to completely detach themselves from Elon Musk. Elon Musk is, and I'm, I'm sure this isn't going to be a controversial statement in this crowd, a massive piece of shit and uh, a poor father. Something evidenced in large part by the fact that he seems to spend all of his time tweeting and there's no possible way that he actually raises his children. I think that, and you'll, you'll see this um, evidenced plenty in what we're about to see. I think that, uh, like many narcissists, he thinks of his children as little extensions of himself and he doesn't really think of them as people. It's a pretty common conservative belief when it comes to kids. Anyway. It happened to one of my, my older boys um, uh, where I was, um, I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. Uh, this is before I had really any understanding of what was going on and the, we had COVID going on and so, I really like this. I really like um, uh, th this, his way of navigating this problem because Elon, Mu on one hand, Elon Musk is supposed to be the world's smartest man, right? But on the other hand, he allowed one of his kids to transition through like a medical line. Like he ostensibly oversaw that. So now that in the past two years, he has turned into a right-wing demagogue, how does he reconcile that? Well, it's funny that he chose this line, tricked? First of all, it makes him sound like a idiot. Tricked as in he listened to a doctor at the existing evidence and then he just went along with it because there was nothing wrong with it. And only since then has he been roped into a culture war where, you know, it, it, it's completely unacceptable that he went along with this to begin with. It's just funny that he went with tricked rather than him just saying I wasn't aware back then, you know, like the doctor pulled some duplicitous scheme. So uh, there was a lot of why is his jacket bunching at the top? That's a great question because it doesn't fit him. Fusion. Um, and, um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if, if he that was a that was a lie right from the outset. Incredibly evil. And I agree with you. That's true. That was a lie from the outset, you know? There's no evidence whatsoever that medical transition improves the mental health and lowers the suicidality of trans people. I should clar clarify that is a joke. The evidence uh, says that does happen. That's why transitioning is the like unanimously recommended medical pathway. Man, when all of this culture war stuff settles out and 40 years from now, the big culture war battle is over whether or not it's like immoral to f ghosts. Um, there are going to be so many people who pretended that they weren't a part of this weird little reactionary blip where people freaked out over an unambiguously medically acceptable uh, uh, procedure, you know, like trans people exist. They will exist in the future. Transition exists now. It existed 50 years ago. It existed a hundred. It's going to exist 50 years from now, like in the future, it existed back then, you know, and People are going to pretend like, oh yeah, it was always fine. I was always always in favor of it, you know? I definitely wasn't part of this weird little like decade long trend of pretending that all the medical evidence in favor of transitioning was fake. 
you that the people that have been promoting this should go to prison. That's so I was, I was tricked into doing this. Um, and uh, it, you know, it wasn't explained to me that puberty blockers are actually just sterilization drugs. Um, they are not, which is why that wasn't explained to you that way. That just a helpful explanation there. Can you imagine what it must be like to be Elon Musk's daughter and to see your hyper wealthy mogul father interviewed by a fascist where they're just openly talking about your mental health and your health record and so on and so forth. Like she, she, she went to the courts to get away from her abusive father. Can you imagine like, like her friend texting her at 3 PM saying like, Hey, did you hear? So, um, anyway, uh, and so I lost my son essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah. I, All right. I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because, uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead. Out of curiosity, if conservatives don't think that you can transition from a man into a woman and his trans daughter is alive, how is Elon Musk's son dead? Well, I'll tell you how, because it seems like, uh, like logically contradictory because you would think like that this doesn't jive with their narrative, right? The reason for it is because from his perspective, you're either under his control as a child or you're dead to him. Exactly. Like this is, it's a classic narcissist parent move where you're either like a, 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 uh, uh, like a totem of my will. You're either like a facet of my will and my life and you do what I allow you to do, or you're not even a person to me. You're not even real. Some people have said that this is him thinking trans people aren't human. I... I'm sure that's true broadly. I'm sure like, he's obviously transphobic, but I don't think this is actually really about the trans thing. I think this is about his narcissism as a parent, you know? I mean, look at him. He he engages in the behavior that is like so more, like he he's literally like the goofus on how to be a father. He's fathered a bunch of kids with a bunch of random women. He keeps randomly knocking up new female uh, underlings at his companies, his, the, the women he employs, you know, the women who presumably would be fired if they rejected his advances. He's gotten in trouble for this multiple times. Uh, it, he's got like a breeder cult going on. Yeah. Breeder cult thing, which, yeah, which his father does as well. His father who, uh, impregnated his adopted daughter, Elon Musk, dad 77 says he'd have more kids, but only if he could find a woman under 35, this stems from two things. For one thing, Elon Musk, uh, sorry, Elon Musk's father, and probably also Elon, are pedophiles. Uh, and also, this is a white South African thing. Uh, there was a very strong, and still is a very strong belief in some uh, Afrikaners, the idea of like, we need to outbreed the blacks, basically. Uh, uh, South Africa is going to shit. It's like 90% black. The only way for us to like reinvigorate this country is to sort of demographically reassert ourselves. It's kind of like the rhetoric you see from white supremacists here in America. The difference being, of course, that South Africa is like 90% black, whereas America, of course, is what, um, like 15, 13, so they're about to buy, whatever, whatever. But like the general gist is it's in the same ballpark. So Errol Musk is like an ultra wealthy white supremacist magnet who f***s a bunch of people, including a woman that he adopted. Yeah, see? The 77-year-old has two, uh, seven known children, including two he had with his former stepdaughter. By the way, seven known children? Not that many, man. You know, I'm trying my best out here to not accidentally impregnate people, but if I was hyper-wealthy and wanted to build a breeder cult, you know, I don't know. I feel like I could do more than seven, personally. I'd like, I just, I feel like, I don't know. Dude's got weak shooters, you know? Yeah, he doesn't have the sauce. His, he has comes too thin, too much water, watery cum syndrome, you know? Not good. Not good. Anyway, Elon's doing the same basic thing. He's he's basically becoming his dad in this respect. He he breeds women all over the place. It's crazy. Killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Imagine saying that about your literal, actual own child. I'm sorry, I just got a text message from my beloved partner who said that uh, they hope I never have seven children. Um, hey! I'd be a good dad, okay? Breeder cult. Currently a live child, yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah. So, 
Um, yeah, and there's lots okay. of people in that situation now. Right. It's not pretty. And lots of demolished kids. Uh, con continuing to appeal to, like, the strongest conservative demographic, which is divorced, separated fathers who don't talk to their kids. Demolished kids? I don't know. Uh, Jordan Peterson is insane. Can we talk about the Jordan Peterson suit? No, because it's ugly and he does it for attention. Don't give him attention. Yes. So... Yeah, well, that's a, good, that's a good reason to be the final straw. All right. In case you're wondering, by the way, um, Jordan Peterson is genuinely like Nazi-esque on trans people. He was saying that it should be illegal for people like uh, Elliot Page to exist in public society because any showcase of a transgender person being happy is a social contagion where they're passively advocating for the legitimacy of their being transgender. Literal fascist? Oh no, more than a fascist. That's beyond fascism. That's death camp territory. That, that right there is full-on um, social degeneracy theory. The idea that the existence of the degenerate is like a natural social contagion. That's, that goes, that's beyond fascism. Whitler? Yeah, a hypothetical white Hitler. That's true. So let's... So I vowed to destroy the, mind, the woke mind virus after that. So f embarrassing. And we're making some progress. Join the club. Yeah. Look at the incredible rapport. Look at the incredible charisma on display. The excellent dynamic between these two steely-faced warriors for American society. And we're making some progress. This is like Drive. This is like Fight Club. This is like American Psycho. Join the club. Yeah. Jesus Christ. They are both literally taxi driver. That is true. They should kiss.